Hi guys, welcome to this Pirate Party Ideas mini presentation. Pirate Parties are back in fashion, thank you very much to Mr. Johnny Depp. So let's all jump on the bandwagon and throw a Pirate Party. Okay, for your pirate invitations, uh, I would find some pictures on the internet of a parrot, a pirate ship, Captain Jack. Captain Hook or a treasure chest, something pirate related, print it off and write your invitations on them and send them out in the mail looking like that. Uh, also I would create a Facebook group, invite all your friends on Facebook as well, this will always increase your attendance as all your friends will be able to see exactly who's coming, any nice girls, any nice boys. Oh I fancy a little bit of that, let's come along. So always uh, create a Facebook group. You'll also be able to use it to keep your uh, party guest updated as to any changes you're making. For your costumes, you can go on Amazon and you can buy the full party costume for practically any pirate, the full Johnny Depp costume, Captain Jack Sparrow. But if you want to make your own, you can uh, follow a few of these ideas. I'd get some old jeans, some that you don't care about, cut them off from the knees and then I'd uh, take the scissors to the bottom of them as well just to make them look a little rough. And for a t-shirt I'd find a, a horizontally stripy t-shirt. The older, the more faded, the better. Remember you've been at sea for a long long time so you want an old beaten up t-shirt and you can use the scissors to cut some uh, well, jag jag up the edges a little bit. For an eye patch, you can just get some black cardboard and some elastic, and um, create your own with a rubber band, or you can buy one off Amazon. Very very cheap. If you've got like an old parrot stuffed toy, then attach it to your shoulder. If you're daring, then you can get a, a marker pen and colour your teeth in. Colour a few, maybe one of your front two teeth black or gold. It's up to you. Go for the, the no teeth or the gold teeth look. If you've got any swords, um, obviously a good addition to your costume, as would a bandana. If you've got a red marker pen, I would put some scars on you, on your face, on your cheek on your arms, you've been in a few sword fights, you've had a few injuries. Another cool little effect you could do would be to get some soot or some charcoal and dirty up your face, your arms, your clothes. Just make yourself look like a typical pirate. For your decorations, the pirate colours, if you're going for balloons, the best colours would be red and white. You can get a Jolly Roger flag, uh, create your own little flag on a mast. You, if you've got like an old chest that's in your bathroom or your mother's bedroom, use that for a, a treasure chest. I'd also get lots of chocolate money, is really would be the snack of choice. Just litter your venue with lots of gold chocolate money coins. You've got many families have massive jars full of coppers that one day you're going to do something with but it's just getting higher and higher and you've done nothing with it now's your chance just tip it upside down well just tip it on its side let the money flow out a little create a little bit of a money pirate effect you can get some mini pirate flags from amazon some supermarkets may even stop them some shopping malls use them, just stick the toothpicks into your sandwiches to create pirate sandwiches. If you've got any old rum bottles lying around, rum is the drink of choice of pirates. For more pirate party ideas, go along to Fun Theme Party Ideas. We have a big, big page on pirate party to give you plenty of ideas. Good luck with your party.